When you and Desi making it official? This is the question everybody wants to know the answer to. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by Drew Oh, we back for another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, I recently hit 100k. 100k, yeah, that was a little while ago. But I recently hit 800k. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all so much. It's crazy, literally, this time last year I was at 300k, so I managed to gain mathematicalness. 500k in a year, which is very lit. Dang, what the heck? 500k in one, how the heck I did that? How many? That's crazy. I, I never even really thought about that. That's 500k in a year? That's tough. But I um, appreciate y'all so much. And I feel like I have to update y'all with a nice little QA. I should do QAs every 100,000 I get. But I think I'm only doing like three QAs on my entire channel. And um, it's too late, I guess. But today, we about to be doing a little QA. I'm going to answer all y'all questions juicy questions, not juicy questions, regular questions. Honestly, I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. And I'll say we're being serious this video. Okay, no funny games. We being serious. But before we get into the video, joy.com, I say my two, third, free, one, six, seven, three dollars. Listen, this one's actually my favorite Drew Rag as of right now. I'm mad though, because Simba, y'all know my cat, my new cat, the new baby kitten, right? He was sleeping in my bed one night and he thought I was playing around like, like when I was sleeping because he'd be freaking up in the middle of the night just doing nothing, I don't know. Running around, he got too much energy. But he scratched my freaking head while I had this Jurag on while I was sleeping and it left the little, the little tear thingy right here. But Jurag's other than that is indestructible, so if you don't have a Simba, cause Simba's nails is the only like thing that can actually penetrate a Jurag. Anything else is indestructible, so y'all know, go have yourself some heat. But um, yeah, I told y'all to uh, give me questions on Instagram, which y'all did. My Instagram's right over there if you don't know, I drew for underscore. You wanna follow me there, keep with me, like when I'm off of YouTube or I do upload every day, but still, you can keep up with me. And, vlog channel over there, subscribe. I also have another channel, I don't know if you ever heard about it. It's like where I play video games and stuff like that. Jewelry Games is right there. And without further ado, let's just get right into this. The first question is where I'm gonna start off light. You feel me? Of course, it's be a hundred million questions about freaking Destiny, Dash, Destiny, Double D's. But I'm gonna start off light with me, and then I'll get into the other questions, I guess. Um, where do I see myself in five to ten years? Now, me, I'm a very, uh, I have big, big, big plans for myself. Not even for myself, um, just for, uh, just like my whole life as a whole. Um, so I have really big plans that require a lot of money. Um, not for me though. Like, I really, y'all know me. I don't even spend money for real. Like I really don't even spend money, um, especially not on myself. So I don't really need that much money, low key. But I, I really want to like build centers and like um, places that like people can go to um, in like communities where it's like they're not taught how to make money. Like I'm talking about real money, not going to. Uh, a job making 10, 20 dollars an hour. I'm talking about like real, real money type stuff. So I feel like a lot of people, especially like my age, you know, black people, not even just black, but like kids, they just don't know there's so many ways to make money. Like literally, like I don't even do YouTube for money at this point. YouTube is good money, but I have so many other things that make me more money than YouTube. So I don't even do YouTube for money. I do it like for fun, but people don't understand there's so many ways to make money. Money is the easiest thing to make these days. You just have to honestly, have some type of dedication and consistency and there's so many different areas you can make money in no matter what you could be lazy and make money you just have to be not lazy in the beginning and get it started that if that makes sense but yeah um i want to open up centers and all that type of stuff so i need a whole bunch of money to do all that like all across the world um so five to ten years honestly how do i say all that without even answering the question five to ten years i expect to um at least have i want to get into real estate so i'll tell you my my 10 year old 30 units by 30, so I have two, 30 uh, apartment units by the age of 30, at least, minimal. I'll probably have more than that, honestly, the way my life is going. But um, yeah, that's the goals. <sighs> of course, this person wants to ask a freak geek question. I never even answer this type of question. Somebody said, would you have a threesome or would you eat booty? Never in my life would you ever see me eat booty. I don't care how beautiful the girl is. I don't care if she's my wife, the mother of my 15 kids. I will never put my face in somebody's butt. Never in my life. You lost me there. I'm not doing that. 
Let's see how I skip the first question. Um, dang, my mom go watch this. I don't even know what threesome is. It's like when you pray in a circle or something like that. Three people, I think that's what it is. I don't even know. That's what my parents told me it was. What happened to the public interview with you and Ronnie J. Johnson? Y'all saw we was in Cali. We was supposed to do a public interview with Ice People who looked better. He wanted to get like his feelings hurt in person. Um, I don't know why. But um, we, it just wasn't lit in Cali. Like it, it really wasn't even lit. Like we couldn't find people to do the public interview with. So um, he got spared. That's what happened. Do you support people that are trying to make it? Me personally, I I love supporting people, but I'm not gonna support you because you DM me and say, oh, shut me out, blah, blah, blah. I only support people that I see working. Like there's a whole bunch of small YouTubers that I support wholeheartedly. And I I just see them working. You feel me? They didn't come to me. Well, they might have came to me and like, yo, give me a shout out to put that. But I see their kid, I see they grind, I see they working. I, I'll support, I always support that. Even like clothing brands. Y'all see me? Every single, I've never done a sponsored post for a clothing brand. I don't, no, never in my life have I ever got paid for any clothing that I've ever worn for any company. It's literally somebody would damn me be like, oh, can I send you some uh, clothes and just wear inside a video and shout me out? I just go to that page, I see who's the owner. It's like a young black male. I'm like, bro, I'll do it for free. I'll do this for the free. It's free clothing for me, I'll do it. Like, I support. People, I love to see people win. My nigga. <laughs> it does not, people don't understand this in the whole YouTube community too. Like a lot of, um, actually I won't get into that, but when you help other people get more subscribers, it doesn't take subscribers away from you. It really doesn't. So I don't know why people be like, oh, don't share the clout. There's clout chasers. Don't let them get the clout chasers. Like, of course, you're not supposed to like encourage clout chasing, but you helping people get clout does not make you lose clout. It's not like, oh, I'm giving you some of my clout and I'm losing some, I'm giving you some. It's more of like you're just sharing it for me. So yes, I do support people. If that was your question, I don't know. How are you so wholesome? This is the question I get all the time. Honestly, I think I was born this way. Of course, I had to uh, mold myself into the wholesome man that I am today. God, of course, blessing me to be the wholesome man um, that I am today. Um, Honestly, it's, 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 a, it's a talent, it's a skill. It takes real dedication. Um, only certain people can reach my level of wholesomeness. You kinda just gotta put your mind to it, man. Pray about it, meditate on it. If God chooses you to be wholesome, he does. If he doesn't, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> your thought. Do you ever think about moving to be with your bae? Every time I get asked this freaking question, even like my, my, my parents have said that, well, they didn't say this. My, my siblings have said it, my cousins have said it. They're like, oh, so when are you moving to Atlanta? Well, blah, blah, blah. So I'm literally always in Atlanta, and everybody knows I'm always freaking in Atlanta. Me personally, I don't even think I'll ever move to Atlanta. It's too cold. It's really too cold for me. I, I just, it's too cold, man. I don't like the cold, and right now in Atlanta, it's basically the same temperature as it is in Jersey, so why the heck would I move? Plus, then I got palm trees in Atlanta. I like palm trees, you feel me? Got the palm tree tattoo right there. And I'm tattoo right there, a little bit more over there. I love palm trees. I don't think I would personally move to Atlanta. Um, I would move somewhere out, out of Tampa. Honestly, it's a lot of like, the demographic around here is really different. Like, um, it's all white people. Um, not that I have anything to guess, that's just, I like to see black people too. That's why Atlanta is cool. Um, Especially for the fact, like, I'll see a Lamborghini going down the street in, in Atlanta. Dude comes out, he's black. I love seeing that. Like, it's cool seeing people that look like you with money. You feel me? Instead of like around here, I see Lamborghinis all the freaking time. I see i8s, I see all this different type of stuff. And it's like a white person driving it. Or like, I don't know. But Atlanta is cool for that. I don't know where else I would move. I don't think I'll move to Cali. I don't know. I love Florida. I love palm trees. But I did have a dream when I moved. And my lease wasn't even over yet and I moved. Like I had a double lease. I don't know, but um, what I moved to Atlanta, it's looking slow. It's looking very slow. What are you going to do on your main channel once you get bored of reacting in Monkey? First of all, I already had gotten bored of Monkey. That's why I stopped doing the Monkey app. Um, reaction, I actually like it. Reaction videos are pretty entertaining for me. I love them. Um, honestly, like I told you, I don't even do YouTube for money at this point. I do YouTube for fun. Feel me? I mean, it still makes me money. Don't get twisted. The money's pretty good. But I do it for fun, so I'm only going to upload videos that I like to upload. Even if it don't get as many views as a, another type of video, I'm going to upload what I find is entertaining, and hopefully y'all find it entertaining too. But, um, yeah. When I get tired of reaction videos, I don't know. I'll move on to something else. I always do. I can take to something. I don't freaking know. I guess I'll do that when the, the time comes. Do you and Desi already be feeling like you in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there was another question in here that asked if we're secretly dating. We're not. No, we're not. Um, but to answer the first question, do you feel like we're ready in a relationship? Sort of, kind of, yeah, because we always fly out to see each other, we talk to each other every day for most of the day. Um, yeah, feels like a relationship. Who would have thought it was all a reaction to uh, rating one to ten? Who would have thought? Never. Never in my life would I ever have thought. Do you like living all alone in a city with no friends? Wow, just come for my life like that. Honestly, um, I had this conversation with like my friend, um, I had like last week, something like that. Like for me personally, okay, I think I told this to y'all before, I don't know, but all my friends are females. I have no male friends. Zero, I literally have zero male friends. I No, not a single male friend. All my friends are females, right? So, um, that is also, and I, I moved down here not knowing anybody, I moved out here not knowing, not having any friends, none like that. Um, the closest person is Flo, but she lives an hour away. But, um, it's, it's kind of tough, right? I'm in a predicament, this is what I was talking to my friend about. Well, she was, t she was telling me, she was like, yeah, I don't know how the heck you're doing it. Cause like, I only have female friends, right? And I only like make female friends. When I say female friends, I mean really friends. Like, I have nothing else than literally friends that like little sisters to me type. Like that's really, I'm not in the friend zone. It's literally just friends for me. Um, I don't know why I don't have dude friends. I don't know, it just be weird. I don't have anything against, but I just, I just don't be like, I don't know. I guess I'd rather hang out with a female over a dude. Oh, uh, why'd I do that? <laughs> but um, I'm in a predicament, right? Because I can't really make friends out here technically because I, you know, I have female friends. But I'm talking to Destiny. So I can't really go out and make friends, become friends with a female while I'm talking to somebody because that's weird. So I technically just be chilling. I, I mean, it's kind of cool because I can focus. I don't got like people distracting me. Um, I mean, I have people out here I can talk to type stuff, um, but not really like friends, I would say. I'd, like come over, watch a movie, even me, or like we'll go to the mall or something together. Like none of that, but like I know people, I guess you could say, but I can't really have a friend or make another friend because it's like female. Yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to talk about, but um, what I'm trying to talk about, now I'm talking about it. What I'm trying to say, that's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, what's it like living? I'm not really like lonely. I would say, um, I do focus, I can't focus a lot. Um, I don't really, I'm not the type of person that needs people around me. Um, so like me being my own element, like here, working, um, like self-improvement type stuff, I can really focus on that, what I need to do. Um, but sometimes I do be like, dang, I wish I could like go out with people and just like have fun, but. Do you have any tips on starting a business? I like this question, okay. Um, yes, I do as much stuff, but I don't want to talk about it for too long. So if I had to give you one piece of advice, I would assume you already researched the market that you're trying to be in, um, whatever business it is, right? I would suggest, what would I suggest? There's so many different keys. Like you can, I can tell you have to um, learn how to market, what type of market you want to go into, whether it's like Facebook ads, word of mouth, um, social media, like um, influencer uh, marketing. It's it's so many things. It would definitely this would definitely be like step one if you haven't done so already. Learn your market, learn your business, create a business plan, right? So you have to know what your business is, who you're marketing to, how you're gonna market it, why they should buy it, that type of stuff. You feel me? It's facts. It's facts. It's not facts. These facts are not facts. So that's I'll give you that um, thing, and of course. Like starting it, the, the hardest part is starting. Well, that's a cat. It's not, the hardest part is not starting. It's hard. It's hard to have businesses. It really is. Um, just understand that there's ups and downs to having your own business. So when you're starting, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be rough. Don't expect to make money. You really. Jurag wasn't profitable for eight months. I was doing it. Like I would get sales, but it was going all back to the company. And I was losing money technically because I didn't have it right. But um, just know. Be patient with it, your business will grow, you'll learn as you go. Yeah. Somebody said, would you stay with Double D's if she didn't have the hydraulic dookie machine? <laughs> Why the heck would I stay with her? No, I'm just playing. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's cool. I'm saying it's cool. cool. Um, I gotta do that. It's just, if I did, it would be fun. But, um, yeah. I don't really, at this point in my life, I was talking to my dad about this a little while ago. 
Um, I don't really care about the out. Not that I don't care, but that doesn't really like drive me. I need somebody that's doing something in their life, like not a bum, like doing something in their life. I can't be talking to people that don't have no goals, not doing nothing, broke, that type of thing. Um, so if you didn't have it, it would suck. It would want to be the end of the world. Doctor Miami is a thing. You feel me? If you caught Desi Dez with another boy that you didn't even know, what would you do? Um. I'm really, uh, I'm really fast at losing, I'm really good at losing feelings fast and forgetting what you do very fast. It's, it's a talent, a skill, it can be bad, but it's pretty good most of the time. Like, if I'm done with somebody, I can, I can talk to this person every day 24-7, right? As soon as they do something foo-foo, literally like that, I can literally pretend they're not there. Like, it's so cool to me. It's literally like, you're done. I never even cared, knew you type thing. Like, I, I might be sad for like, a day, but after that, it's literally like, all right, now on to the next one type thing. Um, well, not like that, but you know what I'm trying to say. I get this question all the freaking time, okay? And I've said it before, y'all just don't believe me. I don't know why y'all believe me. Y'all can go back to my older videos, right? They ask me how tall I am. I am six, seven and a half, literally. I had my, I, if I showed you my ID right now, it would say six, seven and a half. I'm very tall. Good talk. If you could move your family to Florida with you, would you? My parents have no um, lack of finances. They could move to Florida if they really wanted to. They could move the whole family to Florida. They don't want to, don't know why. Not that I want them to, but um, if they wanted to move here, they could move here. I wouldn't have to move my family here. Why is your voice so squeaky? Oh, my voice not even, listen. My voice really not even that squeaky. It's just when I'm shooting videos. Like if you talk to me in real, I just spell over it, didn't I? That was disgusting. <sighs> yeah, go away. Um, but if you talk to me like for real, like I don't I don't think my voice is that squeaky in real life. Like I'll be talking like my deep voice, <clears throat> what up? I don't talk like that, but I'll be like, hold on, let me go into my regular voice. Like let's say I'm picking a phone for like a business meeting or something like that. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah. Nah, honestly, I'm just chilling right now. That's my like my regular voice. This right here, hello, hello. This is like this is like my my energetic voice. But then like if I'm talking regular, it's like yeah, what you doing? How you doing? Where you going? What we about to do? We about to chill? Like that type of thing. Did it change? No, the voice the voice didn't change. All right, sorry. Why don't you do public interviews more often? You pick up girls too easily. Listen, y'all have to understand. Um, I'm an overpowered glitch in the system. Okay, God created me, and He was like, ah, I get I'm in too much sauce. If I did public interviews, I would be a uh, thought, um, but I would still be wholesome at the same time. I would be appearing as a thought, but off camera still wholesome. That's what you guys understand. Off camera, on camera, two different people. I can say whatever I want. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I haven't even said anything thoughtivity in my videos. Yeah, but um, why do I don't do them more often? First of all, I'm here, I'm in Florida. I don't have anybody to record for me. Um, when I'm in Atlanta, I could do them. Um, but I also don't want to do the same public interviews that everybody be asking. I could do little public interviews where I like go out and like pick up girls type thing and do pickup lines. Well, I can't do that now because Destiny, but um, like a black man. Um, but I could before. That, those would have been fire. Like I could have got mic'd up type stuff, had a little cameraman with Anthony, could have flew out, took the freaking videos for me, and we could have did them type videos. But um, yeah, I can't do that. Those would be fire. I should do that. That scene would even get mad though. That's the thing. That's cat. She'll beat me. Get this question all the time. I figured I might as well answer now. Are you a virgin? Yes, I am. I don't even know what females are. Um, I've never like off camera. I've never hugged a female. Not like that. Very wholesome. That's the answer to the question. When you first met Desi Daz, what were your thoughts? We talked about this before. I'm pretty sure we did this in a video. I was just like, oh, she's cool. Like, I thought she she honestly looked better in person than she does online. Like, I saw her in person. I was like, oh, she's not even ugly. Like, on, per, on like online, I'm like, oh, she, she has a nice body. Um, but in person, I was like, oh, she has a nice face, too. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, she's not as ugly. Well, not as ugly. She wasn't ugly online. It's just like, it wasn't like, ooh. What am I saying? She about to hit me, huh? Yeah. No, but, um... My first impression, like literally when I first time I saw it was like, oh, she's she's actually pretty. Yeah. Not that I was surprised, but y'all know what the heck I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about something to a whole freaking beating. Um, 
I need to stop saying she gonna hit me because y'all gonna think she's really abusive. Um, she not. She just be hitting like play, play. No, she don't. Forget it. Um, <laughs> she gonna watch this video and be like, why the heck you said that? Um, but like after I talked to her, I was like, oh, she's like a regular person. Like, she's just a regular person. Yeah. She's cool. Like, not regular like she average. Like, she's cool. Like, she's a regular person. You talk to her. She, it's not like weird. What's the biggest financial advice you can give? Uh, I think that's the question he was saying. He didn't put advice, but he put financial. Um, people save money, and they think saving money is the key, right? People save to save for no freaking reason. They save to have a lot of money in their bank account, right? You should not ever, you should never be like, oh, I'm just saving, saving up, saving up. Save with a goal, save to invest, right? My thing is save to invest. Don't save to save, save to invest, whether it's investing in yourself, stock market, um, Forex, uh, cryptocurrency, real estate, um, businesses, whatever it is, save to invest. Don't save. Save to invest. Save to move your money. Money, stagnant money does nothing and loses value. So you keep your money in your bank account, you saying, oh, my bank account looks nice. It got $5,000, $10,000, $100,000. That's a cool number. It's nice to look. No, that's not good. Of course, you need to have money on the side where like emergency fund, that's what we call it. But I, I really want to start like a like a real because y'all be y'all be hearing like the goofy side of me type stuff. But I'm really like I'm smart, you feel me, in like the area of like money and like business. Like I could really make like a whole nother channel with like financial advice, like real life stuff that'll really help you. Like I could really do it. I'll be thinking about it sometimes. But I'm like they're not ready for that. That's, that's not like my demographic. I would have to really start over. Um, I might do that though, like later on, probably like five years. I don't know, but um, yeah, definitely save to um, save to invest, save with a purpose. When you and Desi making it official, this is the question everybody wants to know the answer to. Um, uh, when are we? I don't know. Like y'all, y'all asking me, I don't freaking know the answer to it. Um, like y'all be thinking, I'd be like. Hiding from the question. I don't know the answer to it. How am I supposed to know? Like, because it's like a thing. And then, like, these new age, these new age kids, they be like, not kids, but like people, they be doing relationships where they want to talk for like freaking five months. Like, I don't, even, I don't even understand the talking stage, right? It's not, never mind. I don't, <laughs> but I don't understand it. Forget what I was saying before. Just, I don't understand the talking stage, right? Um, like, what the heck is it? And you be talking exclusively. At that point, you're freaking dating, right? I think, yeah, you are. Like, if you're talking exclusive to somebody, you could be talking to multiple people. That's something different. But if you're talking exclusive to somebody else, I think that's, I think that's, they, they, right? Yeah. 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 But I think that is enough questions. Um, I'm going to do another Q&A prior at 900K. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I don't think I've ever said that. When was the last time I said like, comment, subscribe? When was the last time I asked y'all to subscribe? That's weird. I don't know. But hit the post notification. That's not like a real YouTuber now. Subscribe. Hit the post notification bell right now. Get the, the bell to dingling thing. Hey, yo. Bell dingling? Hey, yo. Oh my God. You're being sus. But, um, yeah. Let's end the video. If y'all enjoyed it, I hope y'all learned a little bit more about me. You feel me? I try to keep this one, like, for real. Like, real talk and, like, not goofy. But just who I am. Just trying to make you laugh. Entertain you. You feel me? But, um, I try to answer your questions, like, real. I didn't cap on any question. Not a single one. Not even about how tall I am. Remember that. But, uh, man, that's about it. I'm gonna see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.